come in and smother them. <laughs> and all the ones that we'd, you know, the whiter ones that we didn't think our patterns, we started developing patterns. So, yeah, grading too early is not. Not always the best thing. So we found somewhere for these to go. <laughs> Stick them in a tank for a week or two. Stick them in another tank for a week or two with some uh, live food. See. There's one more swimming about in there, Rick. Two. Let's see if we do any changing. So yeah, we're going down this way. <laughs> Soaking my ass. <laughs> So is that excess in this vat, is it? Yeah, it's leftovers from what out today. Load it back in there as well. Make a week. So little. Loads of Daphne in there. Loads of Daphne in there and excess excess two week old fries, so they become lunch. They go in there and they go, food fight! It will be in about an hour's time when they've got over the shock of being moved into a little tank. It's just clay kind of water in there. Can we use clay just to... Yeah, just to <laughs> murky it up. And that's clay, clay off the farm, isn't it? Yeah, the clay off the farm just puts a colour in the water and stays there. The clay's your bike for... Your ponds just thump. Yeah. Flocculate everything and hit the bottom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll shoot in a couple of hours. We'll have um, all the little ones will be on the surface being pumped. <laughs> so, what you got this one ready for? Just, that's just fresh water for the brine shrimp. We use that every five days. Just reloading the brine shrimp hatches. <laughs> The brine shrimp hatches. <laughs> the fucking huge they are. Yeah, because yeah, they're all the fryer out now. Apart yep. from one or two ponds in there. Everything's empty in there. So, so the next round of spawning. And what have you got in that's left in there? I've got a mixed load of these two week old ones. Some for selling in the first pond. Six week old ones for selling tomorrow. Tomorrow's all just going out. The middle pond. And the end pond are some young ones that will be grown, stay in there for another four weeks to go out as six week olds. Yeah. And then I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ponds in here for the eggs for the Sankey Kahaku Shower Spawnings. Yeah. And 14 ponds on the farm if I get my act together <laughs> for the fry. Yeah. So. Yeah, the little ones are coming up to the surface already. <laughs> Producing a fry to the two week marks, no, it's kind of easy. It's yeah. And from this to that next stage is the. Uh, yeah. And that's yeah. where your space plays a big part. Space, live food. And you, like you've already seen, if you put a few fish in a good pond, they grow like wildfire. Yeah. You just can't do that from a business point of view. You haven't got enough product. The 50 fish I'll end up with isn't enough to warrant those two ponds for a whole summer. No, no. Not what we said for. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, they're definitely going to have a munch fest in there, aren't they? Yeah. And what a glorious day to be here. Huh? Not a cloud in the sky. As you can see these are all been emptied, awaiting the next lot of spawnings. <coughs> and we 
got various sizes in this one. Oh, grass is growing well. Oh, the grass, so we've got crazy in the 30s. I'm not surprised in these temperatures. Yeah. Yeah, so that's one we clear, all these we cleaned and done. Yeah, but let me run the ponds. Keep telling you not to. Yeah, go for a walk around the ponds. Not left any composer one. Nope. Yeah, what I would really like is one of your hit series. Yeah. <laughs> so what we got in this one? Shisui and Deutz Ochiba Fry, I believe. Yeah, probably up against. Oh yeah. yeah. You can only just see them. And these, these from when we came down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've only done two blocks. Both of them are over there, like judging by the big orange patch. Yeah. So have you have you managed to get through go through the uh, go sanky in here yet? Should be just boots showing this one. Just boots showing there. Been fed quite heavy. Tim's been five times a day. Things like that. Is that a mixture in there, is it? Uh, yeah, it's actual dog show, a dog sky, a big, big in the garden. Big in the garden, look. Just a half of show. So these will split down to their growing numbers. Yeah. Dirt shirt, sorry. Soggy. Mostly dog show is along this line. Yeah. Normal curve in that. See a nice kajaku there. This is the one we emptied when I was here with Dave. So, and this is where Ricky was on the inside, handing Dave sock net full of fish, and he's like, "Dave, have you got it? Have you got it? Are you sure? You're worrying me now." <laughs> Yeah, so the, these brats in here, they're, they're uh, maintained by Tim, the owner. He grows his veg and stuff in here as well. But yeah, oh, never get bored. Never get bored coming here, I tell you. <laughs> oh, hello, sweet bee. Uh, speaking of Tim, that's his dog. <laughs> <laughs> so 
see the little basking at the end there, look. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Loving the mud pond. Real nice shiro at the back there. Oh yeah, <laughs> there he is. That secure Rogan out there is popping as well now. Yes. It? Yeah, these are the ones that come out of. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, it looks, looks like a proper carp in one, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stunning here, Suri, in here. Yeah, a lot of the Shiro's, the Sumi's dropped back down, come into the warm, muddy pond. Yeah. Here, Suri's go the other way. I'm here, I'm here. 100 of them. Yeah, I think it was 100 we put in here. You should not as I stop them. I try not to worry about the numbers too much, because if you don't get as many, you lose some to a predator and if you put 100 in, you only get 90 out, you want to cry, but if you think I've only put 90 in, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's just a mental thing. Wow. Yeah, this one's... Cheaper's doing much. well. Don't lose much in this one, to be fair. Yeah. More coming in from over there now. They're used to the quads a bit, they get fed three times a day with the quad and children in the quad so they yeah. make the noise of the quad so they'll sit there sunbathing and then all race over mm. right. the colours on them are popping something rotten we like this sitting up around this corner yeah it's over that side there. That's why I'm staying up here, there's too long grass for me. Off on a off on an adventure now. So this whole pond, if you walk out on there, yeah. then the whole pond's like out with fry. Oh yeah, absolutely teeming. What fry are these? A whole mix of the ones we did when you were here. All right, just a complete. Yeah, it's just kajakis, doitsochiba. So you can't, even, you won't even see any of the doitsochiba because they're darker. Yeah. So you just the camera picks out all the orange ones. But for every orange one, there's a dark one. Yeah, I can see one there, one there. This, that's. Quite nicely there. Yeah. Around the edges, look. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Tim's found Susan. <laughs> How we doing, Tim? I like the way he calls us oddballs. <laughs> How are we doing, Tim? Weird and twisted. <laughs> Weird and twisted. See any fry in there? Oh, yeah, it's teeming. Yeah. They're all up all said, up on the surface at the moment. I said this morning, actually. I said there's almost too many in there. There's loads in there. Yeah, it must be 30, 40,000. Keeps you busy. Keeps you busy. Most of the ponds are fishing. It's a bit murky to see anything, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's better for them that way, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's what, what it should be. Yeah.
Did you do okay? No. no. <laughs> oh, you hit as well, did no, you? It's a good timing. Fun? Good timing, that was all. Oh, all right. <laughs> we were selecting through fish. <laughs> oh, well, have fun. See you later. Thank you. Cheers, Tim. It's series one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, over there, out the back. So, how much water would you say is in this one? Uh, off the top of my head, about 100,000 gallons, 150,000. Um, yeah, we've still got a. <laughs> is the tree coming out completely? Is it in the middle? Yeah. Oh, this this grass is coming out. Yeah, with the pampas we burnt out there, the geese nest out there. Mm -hmm. We don't really want young geese on there at the minute. No. So, this is dried nice now, so the digger will be in and dig all this out fresh. Mm -hmm. At some point soon. So, how much will it drop once you've scraped it all out? Originally, there was eight foot of water out the back there, and it's probably down to four foot at the minute, so it's, it's four foot of silt out there. Jesus. That's a lot of silt. So this tree we managed to cut up and burn. Yeah. The tree over there is now growing in the bottom of the lake. <laughs> yeah, it normally looks absolutely picturesque down there. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you can see how much silt's in it. Look at the cracks. Ouch! <laughs> Who broke the window? <laughs> Oops! <coughs> oh, for Pete's sake! You. What have we got in this one? Mostly sanky in it somewhere. Some lovely shasubi there. Every colour that's not in the shop at the minute, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Red. Yeah, it's pretty get fed up right now, mostly. So but you there. won't harvest this till the end of the end of the no, summer now, will you? No, these are a massive chunk. So how much do you expect them to put on in in here? Um 10 to 15 centimetres. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair bit of manila. A huge amount of food. Mm -hmm. Oh, this gosh, you just here, look. <sighs> Did you see that? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a goshki right in front of us. In fact, there's two now, and the benny on them are outstanding.
to be found. Don't necessarily expect to do the fence on, but nest inside it, they're safe. Oh, right. So once that lake is desilted, will you join it to this one or will they stay separate no, lakes? Have to, it reopens into one lake. We should one, off yeah. Work. You have sort some of these out, didn't you? Yes, I did. I think they've probably grown a bit already, mate. Yes, I have. <laughs> These are the ones that me and Sue come down and yeah. So yeah, they have they have put on some size. So that flower quite goes quite nice. Yeah. But yeah, these are quite vulnerable. To be fair, they've been left alone so far, but at some point somebody will have a go at them. Is that being the heron or the otter? Uh, yeah, heron is probably the most common problem. They've gone past the seagulls, have a go at them when they're smaller, but they've gone past that window. Yeah. But yeah, they're starting to. Definitely starting to put some size on now. Again, with the, the showers, mate, you can see that the black's receding. Yeah, they go for a little bit of a, of a change. But yeah, the sank is in Kahaku. You look around the farm and you think the shop will be full of them, but the shop's got none. Soon. Yeah. And this is the other half of the the lake. <laughs> so all that that you saw was dry that's dammed off the other side of there. That's gotta be desilted and it'll drop down by about three or four foot. And then they take the dam out and this pond then becomes, or I say pond, it's a fucking lake, becomes one massive great fishing lake. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> it will happen one day this year, we will be fishing at New Forest Creek on the lake. By special invite. Oh yeah. But, oh, some stunning fish as always. As always. Just love being here. Season. What's that if you only did go sanky? If you only get the very best fish, yeah. You'd only really be picking one or two varieties, really. Yeah. Yeah, these were the, the good ones that we sorted, wasn't it? Yeah, the slightly bigger ones. Yeah, it looks like they're mostly around that back edge. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> they will roll along here just a second ago. Got a hockey down there. Oh, here, here they come. Looking awesome. Oh, they get fed, only get fed sinking food really out there. Eh? Uh-huh. Is that just, just purely to keep them away from the surface? Uh, yeah, keep them down and kicking the bottom over. So the fact they remember what floating food is. Is. <laughs> Kahakus are looking lovely. The show was looking right there. Mm. Yes. Yeah, they're all out in the weed out, out there, they're all over the Yeah, they're all over in that, that corner. Later in the summer they'll all be where we feed them. They've appeared out there where I fed them now, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They want to be on camera. Is that a is that a koi? Golden grass carp. Golden grass carp. There's a normal grass carp behind it. Big black shape behind yep, it. Yep, yep. Big old lump, isn't it? Carp floating about, cruising around. And the biggest in here is? 40, some 42 pounding. It's a lump of a fish. Lump of a fish. Weed cutting, you see. All these you do is just a quick pull through with the cutters. Yeah. Yeah, all having a munch now. Back over where we were, that's loads of them. Yeah, I know, little shits. Laughing at us going, fuck are you? <laughs> Nice mix in this one. Mm. The Jackus, Keeper Series, like the Haku Shell, I think. Is it? Deutsche Mutanishkis. So, yeah, that's everything fed. That is everything fed now, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, no, but that'll do. But that'll do. My pocket's empty. <laughs> yeah. And we'll come back to you shortly.